Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing another reading for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. So we have message of concern. We have unexpected income. And distant horizon on the back of the deck you've got coffin so there could have been something that ended but there looks like there's some kind of unexpected message or wealth coming towards you I feel this is in the distance as distant horizons is coming out so in the future could be in the not so distant future So we'll get some tarot out and see what messages Spirits has for the Pisces Collective today. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirits. So we have the King of Swords. Ten of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Empress, center of your reading today Pisces is the ace of pentacles this could be this unexpected income that's coming in something that you didn't know that was coming towards you we've got the four of pentacles the ace of wands the two of cups And the Eight of Swords. On the back of the deck, you have the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So I feel this is divine timing for you, Pisces. Okay, what is this King of Swords for Pisces? We've got the Eight of Wands. Strength and temperance. The hanged man. So, Pisces, I feel like you're in this King of Swords energy, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be using your logic all the time at the moment or in this past energy of yours. Over some messages that you received, we've got the Eight of Wands. We've got strength coming out, so Leo energy. I feel this is you, Pisces. You are needing to have strength. You're needing to just keep pushing on as much as your emotions fill you up. We've got Temperance coming out, so Sagittarius energy. You're trying to balance out your life. You're following the path Divine has given you. You're sitting, you know, you're sitting in hangman mode, which is you, Pisces, contemplating life and using your logic. So what is this Ten of Wands? We've got the Knight of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Star. The Page of Wands. 
So you could have dropped all the wands. You could have dropped a situation. You could have given up. Just said, that's it. It's over for some kind of Knight of Wands energy, some kind of fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But I feel like you're dropping the wands and you're becoming this knight and starting some kind of passionate beginning. We've got the wheel turning for you. We've got the wheel of fortune coming out. So Sagittarius energy. This wheel is turning in your favor. We've got the star. So there's a wish fulfillment coming out when you drop these these wands, which I feel you have in the past, Pisces, because I feel this is your past energy. So what is this nine of cups? We've got the magician. So some kind of wish fulfillment that you've been manifesting. The magician Virgo energy. We've got the Ten of Swords. So some kind of betrayal. The Four of Wands, Judgment in the World. So some, some wish fulfillment is coming towards you. This could be this unexpected income that's coming towards you. This could be with career. This could be with love. Take what resonates for you. But it's a judgment call that's that's arising. You ending a situation. We've got the magician coming out. So I feel like you're manifesting some kind of wish fulfillment for you. I feel it's some kind of commitment. We've got the four of wands. You could be looking for Mr. or Mrs. Wright or Miss Wright, Mr. or Miss Wright. We've got judgment coming out. So I feel this is the judgment call you're making and you're going to do something with the world, connect with the world, travel the world, take what resonates for you. But this is a wish fulfillment. This wish fulfillment is coming in for you and it's coming in fast, Pisces. What is this Empress for Pisces? We've got the King of Cups. So you could be in this Empress energy at the moment, Pisces, Taurus energy, birthing new ideas. You could be a parent or a mother, but there looks like there's some kind of King of Cups in your life. This could be a different energy from the past. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This king is balanced in the mind and heart. They like to show their emotions, though. We've got justice coming out. So the master number 11, that's what I think of when I look at this card. So I feel like there's, there's a balance after an ending. There's blood on the sword. So some kind of betrayal ending. Something that you turned your back on and you look towards the future, towards or to. And it's this King of Cups. So you could be connecting with some kind of King of Cups. There could be some kind of rebirth of a connection or a death of a connection and, a, you know, a rebirth of yourself. So what is this Ace of Pentacles? So we've got the two of wands. So you picking a decision, choosing a path, giving to the right people. We've got the hermit Virgo energy. So yes, as I said, you made a choice because we've got the lovers on the back of the deck, Gemini energy. You made a choice of lovers. You chose somebody or something in your life that was handing some kind of coin, some kind of help with career or love or family. But yes, as I said, there was two paths. You're at a crossroads, but it looks like you gave to the right person. We've got the hermit coming out, Virgo energy. That could be in their chart, but this could also be you. You could be sitting in solitude at the moment, just vegging out, maybe a bit sad and depressed like this hermit girl. So what is this Four of Pentacles? Got the Five of Swords, the Tower. And the Emperor. So I feel like you're holding back from somebody. 
somebody that may have hurt you in the past. This may cause some kind of tower moment in their life. As we've got the tower coming out, Aries energy, that could be in their chart because we've got the emperor coming out, Aries energy. They could be a boss, a leader. They could like the knight. He's in the night and in the dark. He's the king of the night, the emperor of the night. Works at night. But this person, I feel, because you're holding back, is going to come in with some kind of conflict and cause some kind of tower moment in your life. This could be conflict between you and them or you and others. Take what resonates for you. What is this Ace of Wands? We've got the Two of Pentacles. The Lovers. And the Page of Cups in reverse. So I feel this person that's in your energy that isn't around you at the moment. They want to come in with some kind of passion, some kind of new start with you because we've got the Ace of Wands coming out, even though you're in something else. We've got the Two of Pentacles, so it feels like they're juggling about coming in to make this gesture. We've got the Lovers coming out, Gemini energy, that could be in their chart. It's like they feel they're chained to you. You have them tied up. They're just in awe over you. But I feel when they come in with this passion, they're not actually going to come in as or with emotion because we've got the Page of Cups in reverse. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that could be in their chart. There could be an age difference. But this person... I don't feel is going to come in with emotion. They're just going to come in with passion or lust. They might just want you sexually. So what is this two of cups? Because I feel even though they're coming in with passion and sexual energy, deep down they're hiding something. They could, they could really love you because we've got the two of cups coming out. We've got the king of wands. Fire energy, the devil. So yes, as I said, I feel this person does deep down love you. They're holding it back. They want this soul connection with you. They want this new beginning, even though they're going to come in with passion. I feel this person could have addictions. We've got Capricorn in there. They could have Capricorn in their chart, sorry. But they could be codependent on you. As I said, when I looked at that lover's card, it was like he was chained to her or he was tied to her. So it was like, it's like you are tied together for a reason. You know, they could be a soulmate. We've got the Six of Cups coming out also. And they could have fire in their chart, but I feel like they're coming in with this passion. And I feel like, you know, we've got the fill coming out, so I feel like they're being a bit of a fool towards it. Like they want to follow you. They want to follow the star, which they think is you, but they're going to be a fool about coming in. They're going to take a leap, but they're just going to do it foolishly. So we have the Eight of Swords. What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces? The Page of Swords. The Seven of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. So there could be another energy around you. I feel this is another person. You may have a few people around you that are interested in you, Pisces. But I feel there's someone here 
that's in their head about a situation. They got their blindfold on. They they feel imprisoned about a situation that involves you. We've got the Page of Swords coming out. So air energy. I feel this person is watching you in the background. This person I feel may have had to fight their ground with you. They could have been they could have had arguments with you. They've had to stand their ground against others. You could have been one of the people. But I feel like they're working hard at something. They're working hard at their, their skill or their career or something at the moment. But they're still watching you. They're in their head. They want to come in. They could be healing too. Because you've got the Four of Swords coming, back, coming out on the back of the deck. So you have, you know, you could have someone in your life. You could have some other energies around you that are interested in you. You know, you have been coming out as the Nine of Pentacles. So in this single, beautiful energy, you have everything you need around you. You know, why wouldn't people want that? Because we've got the Six of Cups coming out and then we've got the Seven of Cups. So it's like it's divine timing for you with the Six to the Seven. But it's like there's some soul connection you could have a few soul connections that you need to have options and choose what's best for you. So we'll check out these two cards. You know, this could be a message of concern coming in something unexpected for you. And it's a shock because it's someone that you don't... You know, you may think it's someone that's going to come in, but it could be somebody else. What is the Six of Cups for Pisces? we got the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a turn on the wheel. You could choose a karmic partner. But this could also be some kind of good luck. We've got the Knight of Cups coming out. And the Ten of Cups. The Two of Wands. So yes, there could be a few soul connections around you at the moment, Pisces. Karmics, twins, take what resonates for you. But there's someone that wants to come in with some kind of emotional cup. I feel this is this message of concern. This person could come in and out of your life. They could have water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this may be a message of concern because it's shocking to you. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this is a turn in the wheel. This is a good turn in the wheel. There's some kind of good fortune coming out to you. Roses could be coming out to you. This person could like roses. But they want to bring in this happy family, this everything. What is this Seven of Cups? This person could also be online. We've got the Five of Cups. The Eight of Cups. There's someone that's been left in the cold. And the Seven of Wands. They could have Capricorn in their chart. We've got the well coming out. But yes, as I said, this person could be online. But this could be an option. You need to choose wisely, Pisces. And you know... Sorry, Pisces, you need... You know what's best for you but whatever choice you make is the right decision we've got the five of cups so i feel like you and this person were sad over the three cups that was spilt or the the past love that was there not realizing that you both still care about each other we've got the eight of cups so you could have walked away from this situation in the past to get the Ten of Cups, but this could have just been part of the journey for you and this soulmate. You needed to walk away 
for them to learn lessons and for you to learn lessons. We've got the seven, seven of wands coming out. So I feel like this person could feel like this energy, this fighting for what they want and what they believe in. There could be a few people, you know, against them wanting the same thing, wanting you, but they're fighting for this. So I'm going to grab out one of my intuitive music messages oracle cards and we'll see what song Divine has for the collective today. Channeled song for Pisces. End of the line, the traveling Wilburys. On the back of the deck, we've got Splish Splash, Bobby Darren. So listen to these songs. They will have messages for you in them. I thank you for watching my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I do have playlists for other zodiacs too. So check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus. I thank you all for watching, liking and subscribing. It means so much to me having you all here every day. I love just pointing everyone in the right direction, you know, every day and seeing what spirits have for each and every one of us and what messages we need to take in every day and acknowledge. But as always, I hope you're all having a great day, a great week, a great life, being grateful for everything you have and all the people that you have around you. But yes, I hope you have a great weekend. It is Friday here in Gympie. So yes, we will be enjoying it. But yes, I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.